Hello and welcome to, um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make some pretty awesome buttons using a font called Awesome Fonts. Which is a versatile font that makes it very easy to make uh, buttons in HTML5 and CSS3. Um, so yeah, let's dive right in and um, get started. So, what we want to do is we want to go to the Font Awesome website, there's a link in the description and hit the big old download button and save this file. Um, this is what you have inside of the um, inside the zip file, and you want to take the CSS and font file or font folder and copy those into your project um, folder. I just made a project folder called Buttons, and you want you want to copy them in there. Then go to your text editor of choice and create a new HTML document. I have cheated a bit and made a very basic one, and you should be able to well, make one yourself if you're following this tutorial. But the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to link to the style sheet. So just type link and style sheet, sheet. And then make a ref to the CSS folder where there's a font slash dash awesome.css file. And that is of course a type of text slash CSS. And close that. And then copy this one and change it to styles.css or whatever you want to call it. This is another document that we will make in a minute where you are going to define the, the buttons in. This font awesome CSS uh, file is the file that includes all of the font awesome, font awesome icons, and that's just have to be included there in the start. Um, so now we're going to make the markup for a, a button. So make a div, and for now we'll just have a empty div. And inside you want an anchor tag, and you want a class. Let's say we make a paper button. So fund awesome, and then fund awesome slash the dash paper. And then of course a ref tag is something we need. Close up the A, close up the div, like that. And if we take a look of our page, we should have a yeah a very ugly paper logo. Now make a new folder, make a new file, and save it as styles.css inside the CSS folder. The first thing I'm going to do is that I'm just going to change this body to set a width of 100 pixels and margin. You don't have to do this, it's just for the sake of the tutorial, because it will center everything on the on the page. So, the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to make a new class, and we just call it button. And the first thing we want to do is just, just specify the width of the button, and we'll say 100 pixels. Then you can set the height of the button to be... You know what, let's make the, the button bigger, just so uh, it's easier to see. So, let's say 200 by 100 pixels. After that, you want to set the line height to 100 pixels because you want the line height to be the same thing as your height. This will vertically center the logo inside the button. And after that, you want to make a text align center because this will horizontally center the text. After that, set the font size to be 60 pixels. For this particular button, you will of course change that later and then make a border radius of uh, 10 pixels. We'll come in later uh, on what these um, things are about and how you can play with them to, um, to change the look. After that we want to make a, the uh, want to specify what's happening to the anchor text inside the class button. Uh, the anchor text is of course the links and we want them to have the color of white. That's what I want them to be and have a text or not have a text decoration. So text decoration, none. Let's go to this buttons tab and inside the div we'll make a class or we we'll specify a class of button as we made earlier and go into the page and now the paper button is gone because of course everything is white. So go back to your styles and let's make our first button and we'll just call it blue. That's the star that's the um, the class and make a background color of hashtag free 
B7 BBF Best friends forever. I don't know. And go in here and reload. And then you see again nothing is happening. Because I have to you have to of course to go back to the buttons tab and specify that it's the blue you want. So now bottom paper button. And what you want to do is you want to go into your styles now and again type dot blue for the blue class and this time you're going to make it hover and this is what's going to happen when you hover your mouse over the button and we want the background color to be changed to hashtag for b 7 bae like this and if we then Refresh the page, you will see a very subtle hovering effect over the button. That's just great. And nothing will happen if you press it because we haven't made anything. So that's actually the very basic of how you make a button, but just let's just make two more just for the sake of um, getting into it. Let's uh, go back here and uh, make a green one. And that's just, of course, dot green for make a green class and then make background color. And I have a um, I have a color code here that we're going to use for this button because we're going to make a green Spotify button. So of course, let's use the Spotify color and just again, you know, green, hover, and background color. Um, yeah, and that's, that color wants to be hashtag 7AA32D. And now if you go back to the, um, the page, we'll make a div, class, button to have all the basic button stuff, and green to have the green of course, and then you want to make an A, class, FA, FA is the Spotify, and ref to nothing. Close up the A tag, close up the div tag, and just make a break tag here to um, separate them. So now we should have a Spotify button, button actually appearing Yeah, with hover effect. And just for the sake of it, let's make one more and we'll make it really quick. Just copy this one and let's say we make an apple button and with a class of gray. So go in here, make the class of gray. And I have already stolen some apple colors here. So D3, D1, D2. And again, hover. And that is going to be hashtag 999999. 999, no, okay. And just make a break to there just to to make things uh, even. And there you have it, three beautiful buttons. Um, let's get over to the um, style sheet again to discuss things. Say you want to have a button that is different than the standard button. And um, then you can just copy this one, this uh, these two button classes here, this button class and paste it. And say you want to have a like height, Make let's make a totally round button. So make this into a square and set the border radius to be half the height or width um, because the border radius is applied to every corner. So let's say we have a height of 100, we want the border radius to be 50 pixels and just shade this to pixels. And also call this something else like bottom round. Like this, and that's a whole new, um, a whole new class. So let's just say that we copy this, just for the sake of fast. So now we have an exact copy of all the um, of all the um, the buttons. And we take this button class and make it on into a button round class. We should have round buttons. Yep, round buttons. And that's just beautiful. And of course you can go back to the style sheet and tinker with the original button, say 20 bar radius or something. 
you know, change the, the font size. 80, I don't know. It's just a matter of, you know, fucking around with it. Um, but they're good to go, that's how you make a, a button in, uh, in Fund Awesome. One more thing before we are done. Um, you saw that I wrote all these PayPal, Spotify, Apple, and now there are all 400 icons in the um, Fund Awesome font. So we'll go to the website and under icons, just click and you will get a list of the names of all the icons in the pack and there are a lot to, um, to choose from so you can make any button almost with this with this pack and that is awesome so that's it i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, that you hopefully got something out of it learned something and, and make sure to hit subscribe for even more content in the future and um, Share it with your friends and people who might find this interesting. Also, uh, like the video if you liked it and disliked it if you disliked it. Um, see you next time.